Atlanta influences everything is a popular phrase today seen on shirts, hats, and coffee mugs. And while there is a measure of truth in this simple sentence, those in the world of hot dogs know Macon is the place that cuts the mustard. Since 1916, New Way Wieners, intentionally misspelled, has sold over 200 million hot dogs in middle Georgia. Welcome you all to Macon, proclaimed Jim Cacavias, president and co-owner, along with his cousin Spiros Dermatis. Together, they are a third generation of family hot dog ownership. It's uh, very humbling, yeah. you know, to um, have a successful 108-year-old business that really has a cult following. We had little Richard come to the front of Cotton Avenue in his limousine <laughs> and order his hot dogs and drive away. New Way began with a Greek immigrant in 1916 pursuing his American dream with spices, meats, and hard work. James Malice opened a hot dog stand in Macon named New Way Wieners, established the same year as Nathan's Famous in New York City. New Way is among the oldest hot dog restaurants in the United States. We found some old pictures on Cotton Avenue back in the late uh, 20s, early 30s, 1930. And it was interesting because we saw the hand-painted New Way logo. And underneath it, it had Mexican-style chili. Huh. And we've never, ever seen that before, you know. And uh, it just goes to show you as a Greek immigrant that came and kind of blended his uh, spices and came out with a product that's still revered today. So here we are living in a state with two generational hot dog powers residing side by side. New Way in Macon, 1916 versus the Varsity, Atlanta, Athens, 1928. So this interaction you've had with the Gordys, I mean, was there ever a sense of, look, we, we like these guys a lot, but business is business, even in the hot dog world. Yes, but, uh, you know, researching it, hot dogs are a local favorite. And there's been no hot dog establishment that really has gone nationwide successfully, regionally, yes. Why do you think that is? Hot dogs are a local favorite. Uh, you know, uh, Nathan's went to Chicago and they couldn't make it, you know, because people want a Chicago hot dog kind of like a sub, you kind know. Kind of like beer. Yeah, maybe, exactly. The Varsity, founded by Frank Gordy, a Georgia Tech dropout who had operated his own hot dog stand since 1926, with profits from his popular stand called the Yellow Jacket after the Tech mascot. Mr. Gordy was able to build the first, much smaller version of the Varsity. To do this, he sought the advice and direction of Mr. Malice. Frank Gordy came to Macon, Georgia and talked to uh, Uncle George, George Andros, about hot dogs. He heard about Macon. He even went to uh, Columbus and checked out all the uh, other hot dog establishments because they never sold hot dogs. But it wasn't only hot dogs Mr. Gordy was interested in. But he was very curious about our uh, family secret chili sauce. And how much he wanted to know details about how, it. How many details were shared with him? Not very many, you know. Uh, Uncle George was very cordial, polite, and, you know, answered most all the questions, you know. Perhaps the most notable thing about a New Way wiener is the red hue, one standard in many hot dogs. It's now a deliberate choice and one of the more uniquely recognizable features of their hot dog. But uh, their hot dogs did not become red. Maybe they should have become red, right? Could. You know, Georgia's a red state. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no pun intended. Of course not, but born of the malice Gordy relationship, a sort of hot dog detente was born. Neither proprietor would enter the market space of the other, meaning no new way red dogs in Athens or Atlanta, and no what'll you have in Macon. It. It, it does have that kind of vibe about it, doesn't it? Almost a sort of North Georgia versus Middle Georgia feel. Right. Very regional, very local favorites, you know. Do you, do you ever have events where you find yourself uh, both involved at the same time? Not really, no. F football games or anything? No. No, we kind of keep our distance. We had an opportunity at one point 
to uh, maybe serve our hot dogs at uh, Grant Field. But, you know, after we gave it some thought, we decided not to interfere. Are we talking lawyers here or are we talking <laughs> financial <laughs> We're inducement? We're talking about a lot of Georgia Tech connections here. Makes sense. I understand now. Yes. Jim understands Georgia Tech. He is a 1980 graduate of the Institute and worked as an engineer for years before returning home to Macon to run the family business. It's so that's, a, that's a responsibility, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's a very big resp- responsibility. What do you think it looks like in 50 years? <laughs> Have you thought about that? No, I try not to look that far. <laughs> I think that's beyond my, my livelihood. <laughs> yeah. But this business is evergreen. You're, you're optimistic that your heirs will be running this just as you have here in 2024. We hope so. Uh, family traditions, customs, you know, they have a very deep meaning in our family. Uh, New Way is uh, all about family. Jeff Hollinger, Georgia Public Broadcasting.